The sunlight acts on our bodies in many ways, visually and non-visually. Visual effects are involved in color and brightness recognition of light. Non-visual effects perform physiologically. There is melanopic sensitivity at 480 nanometer wavelength of a spectrum. Our eyes respond to this melanopic sensitivity, which controls melatonin hormone production, a non-visual effect of light. Intensity of a 480 nanometer wavelength increases. Melatonin production is suppressed, thus energizes the body. As it decreases, melatonin is secreted, promoting relaxation. Here's our hypothesis. If we can control the 480 nanometer wavelength of a spectrum, there is a high chance of controlling the melatonin levels and circadian rhythms as similar as being under natural light. Conventional LED light doesn't take this melanopic sensitivity function into account, but we did. We developed specialized spectra to maximize the non-visual effect on melatonin production and evaluated the actual effects of our human-centric lighting on human bodies. Clinical tests were conducted to prove our hypothesis. 30 males between 20s and 50s participated in this two-week experiment, during which they were alternately exposed to our human-centric lighting and conventional LED lighting for three days, two nights on a random basis, without any notice. Subjects experienced daytime light from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and nighttime light from 6 p.m. until the end of the day. We tested various items to verify how the human body reacts to different light settings. Regularly measured melatonin level by analyzing their saliva to check the changes within their bodies. Meanwhile, we further carried out a D-tube test to gauge how well they focused on completing assignments in a given time. The brain waves were also measured to examine the degree of their concentration and stability. Through these experiments, this has proved that light influences a circadian rhythm and melatonin production can actually be controlled by adjusting the spectrum of light. Samsung's human-centric lighting solutions with 480 nanometer wavelength controlled spectra suppressed melatonin hormones better by 18% during the day and enhanced the secretion of by 5% more at night compared to conventional LED lighting. To elaborate, stimulated melatonin led to on average 3% improved concentration levels and a state of deep sleep was reached 52 minutes earlier than under conventional LED, helping to improve the quality of sleep. We concluded that our human-centric lighting controlling the 480 nanometer wavelength optimizes light for better circadian synchronization and can be used in anywhere you want to improve your circadian rhythms, work efficiencies, concentration levels, and even sleep quality.